Mad science means never stopping to ask what's the worst thing that can happen. Maxim 14. So, you're telling me that you daisy chain 10 antimatter warheads to an asteroid and ask permission to, in your words, slay it at the Malian bastards? Adams asked, mouthful of chips. Yeah, Jamie dejectedly said, taking another swig of her drink. And you're all Moby because they obviously said no. Yeah. Adams pinched the bridge of his nose. You're aware that each of those warheads could flatten the country and then some, right? But that's the point. I mean, they declared war on us first, so it's only fair that we get to bomb them, right? You can't obliterate a planet because they got all pissy at us, he said, or tipping the bag of chips upside down, giving it a shake. Just let the diplomatic goons smooth it out. The only thing we did was the galactic equivalent of a parking ticket anyway. They declare war. War. They're harmless, dude. I doubt they could scratch the paint on our ships even if they tried, he scoffed. Waving her bottle around haphazardly, she yelled, But they declared war. Ish, not fair. Sign. He gave her a few pats on the head. There, there. You'll get your chance soon, I promise. Okay, she said. Giving Adams an uneven smile before our head hit the table unceremoniously. The dull thud echoing around the empty mess hall. And that's enough of that, he said with a chuckle, taking her bottle and sliding it across the table. Adam sat at his desk, his gaze pouring over the book in front of him. To him, this was bliss, peaceful silence filling the air while he lounged around, reading his book. Nothing could ever ruin this for him. A distant shout came from behind his closed door, Adam! Letting out a groan, he slammed his head onto his desk. I guess I spoke too soon, huh? Not even a few seconds later, his door swung open. Jamie standing in the middle of the doorway, a victorious look plastered on her face. I did it! Do I even want to ask? He said, while reaching for a bottle of ibuprofen, preparing for the impending headache he was bound to get. It doesn't matter, I'm telling you anyways. He exasperatedly waved at her to continue. All right, go on then. Taking a few moments to rummage through her bag, she eventually pulled out a small canister with a window, a grey liquid splashing about inside. Holding it above her head, she yelled, Behold! My greatest creation! What? You aren't impressed? She asked, head tilted. You made... that? His eyebrows followed a confusion, clearly not expecting this. It looks like sludge. Not just any sludge. Look, she said. Brian opened the lid and dropping a piece of candy she had into it. Adam saw the candy spat harmlessly into the liquid, the lolly just floating in it serenely. Opening his mouth to say something about it being anticlimactic, he did a double take as he saw the goo eat the candy. Did it just... Yep, I made some nanites. You made grey goo? He squeaked out, his voice going up an octave. Yeah, are you proud of me? She said, giving him a winning smile. An uncomfortable silence filled the air around them. Get the fuck out of my room, he deadpanned. Her face fell at his words. What? What did I do wrong? I don't want to be responsible for the amount of paperwork I'll end up getting if you fuck around with that and do something dumb. Like what? If you spill any of that, this whole ship, kaput, gone. I don't know about you, but I'd like to keep on living, thank you very much. Come on, it's not that bad. Her voice trailing off, suddenly becoming meek. It's a banned weapon. We banned it. The galaxy banned it. Even the Eckers who invented it banned it. Taking a deep breath, he buried his face in his hands. Just, just get rid of it. Please. Fine, she grumbled, putting the canister back in her bag as she turned towards the door. I'll go through them away then. And for God's sake, don't forget to deactivate the fucking nanites first, yeah? He shouted after her. And close my door on your way out. She sheepishly scratched her head, keeping her gaze firmly locked to the floor. Uh, oh yeah, sure, 